What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to save and load your game. It's going to be a very easy tutorial to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we have to do is go ahead and create a new blueprint, okay? So you just go ahead and right click, blueprint class, I'm going to search for save game because Unreal already has this kind of set it up for us. So it's going to be much easier. So you just go ahead and select it and I'm just going to name it BP save. Okay, so now if we go ahead and open this, you can see that it is like pretty much like a normal blueprint, okay? But the thing is that we're going to be saving different things. Now, for the purpose of this video, uh, I'm only going to be saving and loading the player's position, okay? And then you can go ahead and add more things as you want, okay? So basically, to save a, you know, a piece of information on our save, what we're going to do is just create a variable. And this is gonna be the player pause. Okay, because it's gonna be the player position, you're just gonna save it in the variable. That is simple. And it's gonna be a transform. Okay, so now we can compound save and go back into our third person character. And the thing is that we're gonna go ahead and add a begin play because this will do it uh, right when the game starts. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is does game does save game exist okay so we are going to be asking if already um there's something saved and we can go ahead and load it or we can go ahead and create a new one now we have to set up a slot name go ahead and name it as you want in my case it's going to be save one but you know it's like basically the name of each slot on your save okay so right from this it's going to be a branch and we're going to ask if true or false now if it's false what we're going to do is create a new one. So create game save object. And this will be of our BP save that we have just created earlier. So now we can get from this and then set the player pause. Because also, uh, apart from creating it, we're going to be also saving it in that instant. Okay. So uh, basically, just save it like this. And it's going to be get actor transform as we are saving our actual player's position and then also we have to save it okay so it's gonna be save game slot and then we can just join this and remember that the slot name has to be exactly the same so save one and then basically it will be saved so i'm just gonna go ahead and make this a bit better just by putting this up over here so it doesn't look like that and there we go so now uh, if the save doesn't exist, it will create one and save our player's position. Um, but if it already exists, we have to basically load all the information. So it's going to be load game save slot. And again, it's going to be exactly the same name slot. So save one. And then what we're going to do is cast directly to our um, BP save. So now we can get our information, for example, our player pause in this case. And now a simple, we can just say set um, actor transform. And we can just set the position of our player to be basically this one. And that's pretty much it on the uh, begin play part. Okay. So now what we have to do is save the game and load the game if we want at any time. So. Uh, for example, I'm going to be saying that if I, you know, to make things easier, if I hit the key O, for example, oh, for example, R, it's going to be better. Um, we want to go ahead and save the game. Okay, so what we're going to do is copy this block, which is just says, does save game exist? And uh, with save one on, which is very important. So if it exists, just to make sure that, you know, we don't have any errors or whatever. Um, what we're going to do is do pretty much this, which is just um, get reference to our uh, cast that we did earlier and set the player position and save. Now, the thing is that we need to reference to this. So just go ahead and just drag this over here, right click and say uh, promote to variable. And this is going to be our um, BP save. I think that's OK for now. Just plug it in over here and then plug it in this uh, part. So now we can just go here and get our BP save and then just get our player. Uh, sorry, set our player pause because this is basically um, saving 
and then it's gonna be in true. And then this is gonna be our get actor transform. So I just go ahead and copy this and paste it on here, and then save game to slot. Well, gonna be doing exactly the same here. So you just copy and paste it, and then the BB save will go over here, and the slot save one. So now this will basically be saving our game. So I can print um, game saved so we can go ahead and check it out. And then we're going to be loading the, the information. So, for example, let's say that if I press, I don't know, J or whatever, um, we'll basically load it. So uh, now to make things safer, I'm going to go ahead and copy this thing about does save game exist, save one. So if it does exist, we're going to be loading our information so uh we can do pretty much exactly what we did here um but because we already have the reference we can just drag it we're gonna get it and then i'm gonna get player pause and uh just drag over here and because we already have i was gonna set the transform of the actor it's gonna be on true and this over here and then i'm gonna go ahead and just print game loaded and that's as simple as it gets so now if we compile and save and press play you can see that um if i were to so you can see that i spawn over here right so if i were to go up here into this section over here and now i will press r you can see that it printed game saved so my game just saved over here so now if i were to go ahead and move into another corner and now I press J, which is uh, the button that I assigned to load. Okay, and it's just because I literally forgot to um, also, uh, you know, assign the variable uh, when we already have the um, uh, when when we're creating it. So now it will work, but because it was the first time I was creating it, I wasn't applying it. So the, the quick fix is just drag the variable set, and then we will just set it with the return value over here. And that's literally the fix. All right, so if now we were to go ahead and go into a position, for example, this one, and go ahead and hit R, game saved. So now uh, the position will be saved over here. So if I were to go ahead and move into, for example, this corner, and then press X, I will be teleported up to here, so it will be loading the information. Also, if I now exit play, and then press play again, I will be spawning over here, because we did it on the begin play. And that's pretty much it guys, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more things like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like the video. If you have any questions or comments or unwilling to find tutorials ideas, leave them in, in the comments. And now with all that said, bye bye.